Hey everyone, welcome to this course on webhooks. The first lesson covers the introduction and fundamentals of webhooks and how to use them effectively in a scenario. More advanced concepts are covered in the subsequent lesson. Webhooks are wonderful. And since you're watching this, you probably already know that. But if you don't, here's the simplest definition. A webhook, also known as a web callback, is a method that enables an app or web service to send real-time information to another application. The occurrence of an event triggers a webhook and sends over the data instantly. Integrament has a dedicated webhook module, but you may also use the webhook trigger module available for many different apps. All such modules are marked with an instant tag. In this video, I will take you through the process of setting up a custom webhook on Integramat to receive data from an external source. Let's dive in. Here's a simple scenario where the data received by this webhook is used to compose a string. The first step is to add a new webhook. You do this by clicking on the Add button and then entering the name for your webhook. Once you do that, you will see a unique webhook URL like this, and Integramat will begin listening for data to determine the data structure of the webhook. At this point, you need to paste the webhook URL in a third-party app or service and send sample data to trigger the webhook. Keep in mind that unless you do that, you won't have any items to map in the subsequent module. So click on Redetermine Data Structure to tell Integramat to begin listening for data again. To trigger the webhook, let's use Postman, an easy tool to create requests and test webhooks. The first thing to do is paste the webhook URL in this field here. The next thing is to set the request method to post since the aim is to send data to this webhook. Finally, some key value pairs that will contain the data you want to send. For this example, I'll set first underscore name as a key and Jennifer as its value. Then let's set favorite underscore band as a key and queen as its value. Now I'll click send to make this request and pass the information to the webhook. Let's check if this has triggered the webhook. As you can see, the webhook module has successfully determined the data structure of the request. This means that you can now use the data received by the webhook in subsequent modules. Now, if you look at the Compose a String module, the items or keys from the webhook are mappable so you can compose a string using them. Let's compose a string that says first underscore names favorite band is favorite underscore band. And now let's execute the scenario once. As you can see, the scenario is now active and the webhook is listening for new data. Now let's go back to Postman and make the same request once again. And here we go. The scenario executed successfully. You can see the output on the Compose a String module that says Jennifer's favorite band is Queen. And you can also see the key value pairs if you look at the output of the webhook module. That concludes this lesson on the introduction and fundamentals of webhooks. However, here are some points to keep in mind when working with webhooks. You may use the same webhook in multiple scenarios as long as the data structure remains unchanged. If a scenario is inactive, then each bundle of data received by the webhook is stored as a record in a queue. Once executed, the scenario will process all the bundles sequentially. Besides immediately, a scenario can even be set to run on a different schedule in which case the data retrieved from the webhook will once again be stored in a queue and the bundles of data will be processed sequentially when the scenario executes. The records in a webhook queue are stored for 30 days. The number of records that can be stored varies with each Integramat subscription. If multiple scenarios use the same webhook, the data will be stored in each inactive scenario's respective queue. Active scenarios using the same webhook process the data as per the set schedule. In the next lesson, you will learn how to make use of some advanced features when adding or editing a webhook. See you in the next lesson.